I just learned something new today. Let me show you. So here's the situation. You just came out to a brand new commercial property. You've never been there before. The contractor before you replaced the pump. When you go to run the system, all of the zones are low pressure. You wanna know what the first thing you should be looking for is? You come around to the front of the pump, in most cases, and you look for an arrow, like this one right here. And it'll show you the rotation of which direction the impeller should be spinning. And to confirm whether or not your impeller is spinning in the right direction, because clearly we can't see through the iron, we'll come around to the side here where the shaft is exposed. And if we notice that the shaft is spinning in the same direction as the arrow, well then it's working like it's supposed to. If it is spinning in the opposite direction from the arrow on the front of the pump, in which case this pump is doing that, then the zones will run with super low pressure because the impeller is spinning in the wrong direction, not pulling the water out of the lake as efficiently as it would if it were spinning in the right direction. This is a single phase motor. So that means either this was wired wrong internally or something horribly went wrong with the wiring externally. And I'm about to look into that right now to see if that's the case. But before I get into that, let me go ahead and turn the power off. Now that we've got the wires exposed, we can see how this is being wired. It's being wired under the high voltage wiring diagram here. But here's the problem. For some reason, internally, this has been wired so that the motor will run in the opposite direction. There is a fix for this. And it involves going to look up the drawings for this motor to understand how it was wired and how it would need to be wired to get it to spin in the opposite direction. And what I'm showing you here is those drawings. And this is the wiring chart that I need to follow. It is currently set up for high voltage standard and I need to rewire it for high voltage opposite. So I just need to swap wires five and eight and this will get this single phase pump operating in the correct direction. So let me go ahead and get these wires pulled apart, put them back together the way that that diagram shows and turn on the pump and show you what we get. It turns out red and black were the two wires we needed to work with, which were five and eight. Black was five, red was eight, and we swapped them out. Now that we've got them swapped, we're gonna go over to the controller. We're gonna go ahead and hit manual and run. And now the rotors are popping up. They weren't doing that before. They were just trickling out. Now they're just beautiful. That's how you solve a single face pump rotating in the wrong direction. I'm gonna let you all on a little secret. This is the first time I've ever dealt with a situation like this, so I wasn't sure how to deal with it. I reached out to my local pump shop, Rice Pump and Motor Supply. Thank you guys, you pointed me in the right direction. They told me to go look at the wiring diagram for this pump motor. So I went to the website of the manufacturer of this pump, Baldor, looked up the model number for this pump and came across the wiring diagram I showed you earlier in the video. Using that wiring diagram, I could understand how it was wired currently and how I needed to wire it to get it to rotate in the opposite direction. Using that information and a little help from the pump guys in Fort Lauderdale, we got it back up and running. It sometimes takes for you to do a little research, ask a few questions to figure stuff out. Don't give up. Just ask more questions. And with that, we're on to the next one.